Hey guys, uh, today I'm really excited because I get to talk about something that I super love and that is uh, clip-in hair extensions. Um, they're a really fun and easy way to kind of spice up and give a little bit of sex appeal to your everyday look. Um, especially if you have thinner hair or shorter hair, um, but they are sometimes a little bit tricky for some some people to get started on putting them in and how to make them look natural and that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is just show you the way that it works for me and hopefully that will help you a little bit um, to get you on the road to having a long sexy hair. So let's get started. I um. I use, let me show you the brand I use. I just bought some new ones, so I cut the box so I can show you guys. Um, I use the Euronext hair extensions, and they come from Sally Beauty Supply. Um, and the color that I just got is, um, what's it called, Espresso, which is great because they used to have a dark brown and then a black, and the dark brown was more like a medium brown. It was not. So I used to have to, have to dye them, and you still might have to. But you can even put highlights in these. You can do whatever you want with them. Um, and you can bring them to your stylist and have them do it as well. Um, when I had highlights, I had highlights put in mine, and it looked great. You couldn't even tell what was real and what was not. So, um, and how it comes is it comes in a pack um, of these specific kinds, and most of them that are clipping in the pack come this way. Um, two, set, uh, two pieces that have three clips, and then... Um, Oh, I'm sorry, like the longer ones. There's two that are kind of longer, that are about the same length. And then there's two kind of shorter ones that also have three clips, but they're shorter and they're the same. And then there's also a few, I don't have them because I never use them, of the single. It'll have just one clip and you could use it like on the sides or whatever. Um, but I don't use those just because I try to do like the less, many, the less clips I have in my head, the more comfortable and the easier it is. Um, so what I do, and I haven't done anything to my hair except blow dry it and then I put it up in a clip. Um, so what I do is I start by parting my hair kind of like in the center of my ear, um, right where your ear canal is if you want to get scientific about it. And then I get a little clip and I put my hair up. And then I will take the longest clip, and these two are about the same. Um, they're one's a little bit longer. Can you see? Yeah, okay. The one is a little bit longer. So I take the longest one and I use that one first. And unclip the center first. And I let I just take a little piece of hair and let that hang down. And then I clip the center clip in that. And then I have the, the clip on the side. I will put um, kind of like by the top of my ear. So it kind of makes like an upside down, um, like, you know, like a parenthesis. And then I do the same on the other side. And clip. And this is great. I do it like this when my hair is a little bit shorter. If I'm adding quite a bit of length to my hair. And you can see it's, it's pretty long. Um, because it will hide the most of my lower part of my hair that I'm trying to conceal. Because if you just started clipping it in here and didn't conceal this bottom part, it's going to be like, my hair's like say this long, I don't know how long it is, but say it's like this long, and then you're going to see this longer part. So I, um, this is the easiest way for me to do it and my hair's a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to take the next longest and I'm going to cover it up. See, I'm going to put this right underneath the part. So I'm covering up like this bottom little section of my hair to make it appear longer. Okay, so like the bottom section of my hair is now covered. And so it just looks like it's long now. Um, and once again, so you could see, you can't see any of the short pieces hanging out because how I clipped it, it covers that bottom section. Um, and this, like I said, if your hair is shorter, it, it works better. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do next is, because my hair has grown out a little bit and it's not super short like it used to be, I'm going to do this right at the top of my ear. So I don't have a huge section of hair in between um, the bottom part that I did and the upper part that I'm doing. Actually, I need a little bit more hair. But um, the shorter my hair is, 
the higher up I place the next pieces. If my hair is really pretty short, I'll place them all the way up here because you want it to blend. Um, and because my hair has gotten a little bit longer, um, when the top hair comes down, I feel like I'm like not explaining this properly, so if I'm not, I'm sorry. Um, when the top hair comes down, it looks like a longer layer, and it doesn't just look like little tiny short pieces. So if you have pretty short hair, you know, say like mid-neck or whatever, um, you want to put place these pieces in higher up like up here. So you just have a little bit of hair covering them so you can't see the track of the weave but it's gonna blend better. Um, but since my hair is a little bit longer I can do it this way. Um, and you'll notice that I haven't even styled my hair yet. I usually do it last because it'll just help blend. Because if I flat ironed everything and then I just clipped the tracks in, it might look kind of um, disjointed and not flow as well. So I'm going to put this kind of right over my ear. And I'll, I start with the side clip now and not the middle one. But you know, you have to just play and see what works for you. So I clip all the way around, okay? And then do the same thing on the other side. And they're going to kind of meet in the middle, and that's fine. And, you know, it's it's kind of different every time I do it. It's not a perfect thing. And see, now these are overlapping. And so sometimes I go on the top, and it's not really fitting in there. So I'll just put this last clip on the bottom. You just have to do what works for you and what kind of grabs and holds best for your hair. So now I've got all of the tracks in that I'm going to use. And so I'm just going to kind of run over with a flat iron to kind of smooth everything together. So this way, everything kind of flows together, like I said, and it's not like, you know, because I might have flat ironed it, so it kind of... Okay, my video camera shut off. I had a little bit of technical difficulty. But what I was saying is you just want to flat iron all the stuff that you just did um, so it blends together. And then I'll just kind of go about styling my hair as usual and... I also have a couple more tips if you do have shorter hair so it'll blend better. Um, and I just kind of, if I'm doing it straight, I kind of angle it inward so you don't have like flippy pieces. And I do it along with the extensions so it all kind of meshes well together. And I mean this doesn't take hardly any time at all, um, especially if the extensions are already styled because you can wear them four or five times it says it recommends just depending to on like how oily your hair is sometimes I might have to wash it more often or if you use hairspray in them you're gonna have to use you know wash them more often just depending there are several variables but um, if they're already styled it's so easy you just clip it in and you do like your top layers and you move on with your life you don't even have to worry about it um, so, and then the back, I always make sure I kind of go inward, you know, make like a slight curling motion so it doesn't look crazy, crazy in the back. And so, you know, just go all around your head and do how you normally would do um, and just try to blend it as much as possible. So I won't do it perfectly because I don't want it to be boring and waste your time. So um, pretty much I'm done here. And what I wanted to say is if you do have shorter hair and you feel like it looks kind of mullety, like you have like a short layer here and then it's long, um, what you can do to hide that is do kind of an up, a half up and take that shorter layer of hair and style it this way and it makes a world of difference. I've worn my hair like that so many times when my hair is shorter and I'm trying to conceal those layers. So hopefully that helps you guys. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can, the human hair extensions are awesome because you can curl them, you can flat iron them, you can do whatever you want to them. Just treat them like normal hair. Um, so hopefully that helps you guys. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you next time.